it's about to go down now it's about to go down okay guys wherever you're watching us from you are highly welcome it's still about nigeria election matter yes on the 25th of this month me and you are going out there to cast our vote i know some of you have been wondering why is it that this election this 20th century election is the most talked about election the answer is clear because nigeria has passed through a lot in this last eight years we've passed through a lot this one affected both the rich the poor and the middleman so we don't want a repeat of such thing it's no longer about tribe or region it's about capacity and character this thing has made even pastors celebrities across the nation to come out and declare say look at the person to vote for this is a man with integrity gone are the days we used to uh, we used they used to tell us we, i would do this i would do that we check what you can do by what you've already done right i will allow you guys to watch and listen to what um, bishop david Oyedebo has to say concerning this election i also tag some of my uh clip or video which i've made on pastor paul nhs speech concerning this particular election stay tuned guys so that i get all the whole gist i don't also accompany us with uh, the ongoings who had my statement on the forthcoming election please take note of this there is no political party in this country that has no members in this church amen <laughs> there are even founders of political parties in this church but we are after the well-being of a nation, not the schemes of a party. Amen. Seek the peace of Jerusalem, not of a party. They shall prosper that love thee. We are in love with a new Nigeria. We are in love with a Nigeria with a future. So I'm advising that write-up, I said, please vote wisely. Vote your conscience. Vote the future of your children. Vote the future of the coming generation. Vote the future of a one Nigeria. It's not about tribes, it's not about religion. It's about capacity and character that can bear the nation out of our rot. <laughs> capacity and character. I've never been a beneficiary of any government regime ever to benefit what? We are where we are today, sir, without a human hand. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. As far back as 84, I knew I would not consider being the president of this nation. And I said, humorously, as I speak before the law, I consider it a demotion if I were invited. 84. Nobody will invite me to be a local government chairman. I knew my place in God. And I jealously want to guard it. But I want a peaceful Nigeria that creates a future for the coming generation. The affliction of the last eight years must not come again. Must not be given room again. Sir. The Lord spoke to me at the end of those three days of prayer and fasting. He said, what do you imagine against the law? You're bragging and boasting. Nonsense. He said, the law will make another end. For affliction shall not rise again a second time. <laughs> Has Nigeria gone through any distress of this nature in our history? Never. 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 Now you can't even find your money, your own money, your own national money on this road. Not one of the promises saw the light of the day. And now again, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. No, we don't, don't confuse anybody. We will check what we can do by what we have done. Amen. Don't try to convince anybody. Your service record will tell us what you will do when you get there. A number of these contestants, sir, you can't verify their source of wealth at all levels. Listen to me, God confides in me time and again on the state of this nation. Not because I'm anything, but I'm one of his prophets in the land. I need help. 
Now, I don't want to scare you, but I've seen a nation in distress. It will take an emergency attention to rescue the soul of this nation that is grossly in distress. That's why we come in to pray. Jesus, no additional affliction. Alleviate the one we are going through. You find us put on the website the declarations of faith to be made on daily basis. You better mind it. You better mind it. No one here shall be a fugitive in another man's land. Yeah. Our members of this job be careful not to use your mouth to destroy your life. Don't use your mouth to destroy your life. Don't use your mouth to destroy your life. I have bona fide sense in all the parties. Who talk to me every day? Our political leaders who are contesting and who have seen me, I see all of them. I don't have any problem. But the will of God will be done in Nigeria. I will know that when the wicked rule, the people won. So who are you to not be voting the wicked man and say it doesn't matter? People just will come to camps. Even Christians among them, all they will get what they are looking for, sir. Nothing concerning about the future of the dead, nothing. They don't have children here. Just their stomach, their stomach, their stomach. If they burn down a child, does he touch them? He doesn't touch them. Was he coming there before? Does One was talking about that. Stop that. You don't direct shepherds. Shepherds direct the flock. Stop talking nonsense. It's weak. God will show up. It shall not only be peaceful and bloodless, but the will of God shall be established before the eyes of all. Never made any satisfying statement on security. Are they saying to continue? To be dodging an obvious problem is nothing but sympathy with it. Which means a continuous problem. But we have prayed. We are still praying, my God, God will send us deliverers, yeah. not sympathizers, yeah. not evil men, yeah. not treasury looters, yeah. not people that plague the populace without feeling. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah.